If you had the ability to have superhuman intelligence, recover from blindness, or accelerated learning capabilities, would you take that chance? But what if I told you it had a 65% chance of causing loss of coordinations or seizures or open sores in the esophagus? You'd think twice, right? At the end of this video, I'll share what the future holds for you and I, but some of you might already know about Elon Musk's Neuralink trials in which monkeys were utilized in animal testing. Neuralink is a brain-computer interface, or BCI for short, and it's often referred to as neural implants. These devices are designed to enable bidirectional communication between the brain and external devices, and it can record brain signals and then transmit them to an external app that then decodes them into a computer command like controlling a keyboard or a cursor. The device itself is actually a little smaller than a quarter, and it has over a thousand electrode channels in it in the brain by a surgical robot. And while Neuralink is expected to be utilized to address various neurological conditions and disorders such as paralysis and epilepsy and depression, Elon has also discussed how it could be a human enhancement to cognitive abilities like memory and other aspects. But like any other new device that one day is intended for human consumption, trials must be gone through for safety protocols. Otherwise, we would have a litany of products that seems like they're useful, but they actually ravage our bodies, which we've seen over time in things like asbestos and mercury medicine and even lead and gasoline. And while these trials are not new news, over the holidays, I had the dis or this specific discussion with a few people who were cheerfully awaiting the potential for Neuralink, and, but they hadn't heard any of the grim details of the original trials. So I started asking people over the break if they had ever heard of Harambe, and every single person had. But when I asked if they had heard about the Neuralink trials, all I received was blank stares. So while Musk himself said that the test monkeys were living in a monkey paradise, 15 of the 23 original test patients died. Musk claimed that all the animals utilized during the early testing already had previous conditions and were terminally ill, but that they died from their illnesses, not from the BCI. And there's certainly some controversy in Musk's statements there. The letters that are being sent to the SEC that Musk misled investors around the safety of BCIs and the veterinary records show that Neuralink was forced to euthanize 12 previously healthy monkeys after the implant, which caused symptoms such as bloody diarrhea, paralysis, and even brain swelling. But by keeping his investors in the dark, it also opens up Musk's claims of safety as potential security for him. In May 2023, the FDA granted Neuralink approval for conducting human testing, and that came after their initial rejection in 2022. So as they prepped for the human trials, Neuralink demonstrated the device on monkeys, pigs, and sheep, and it was all very exciting. But it was the approach of how the company did the testing and the overall safety of the device that's really sounded some alarm bells. In September 2023, Neuralink announced that it was recruiting volunteers for its human study with thousands of people signing up to receive the brain implant. And it's important to note that the initial intent is to help people with severe paralysis and aggressive degenerative diseases who struggle daily to communicate their conditions. But Musk's long-term vision is that the chip is being used by healthy people to sync their brains with AI. So in conclusion, for those that suffer from these degenerative diseases or paralysis, Neuralink could be a way to have a fuller life compared to the ability without it. But it's hard to ignore the initial animal testing results. There are those in the world who have tried what's available in modern medicine today, and this could be life-changing for those with those afflictions that have no other options. But it's still a distinctive risk, simply because it's new and dangerous. But for those that find the risk greater than their current state, it's great that we have a company like Neuralink expanding the abilities of human medicine. Personally, to me, it feels like Elon has always been against the growth of AI, and this is his penultimate go at if you can't beat them, join them with Neuralink. So you and I could have an, Im an implant ourselves and elim eliminating the need for keyboards, mice, and other physical requirements as we transition to merely using our minds to communicate with the different versions of technology. As always, change is accelerating, and it's going to be an exciting 2024 in the world of emerging technologies. I want to thank our sponsor, Kincannon Business Consulting. Kincannon brings technology, systems, and expertise to your business to shorten the timeline of execution to a profitable future roadmap. 
Other consultancies bring a costly army, but King Cannon brings an efficient SWAT team. So if you're looking for a consultancy with a track record of success across many industries, reach out to King Cannon Business Consulting to set up a discussion. You can reach out to them at inquire at kincannonbc.com. That's going to do it for today. We're going to talk some more emerging tech next time. Bye, everybody.